It is Friday, April 9th, 2021, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Today on the show, we take a look at the World of Outlaws weekend at Kokomo and Hobstop. USAC Midgets are at Port City. Darren Pittman has a new ride, and we look at other open wheel racing going on this weekend. So let's jump in. Two Indiana short tracks are on the card this weekend for the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series. Tonight, the Outlaws head to Kokomo with Tri-State Speedway in Hobstadt, Indiana on tap for tomorrow. Both tracks provide great racing, and we saw that last year, especially at Kokomo, with Sheldon Hoddenshield beating Donnie Schatz after a fun battle all race long. Brad Sweet enters the weekend as the points leader by 46 over Logan Schuhart, and so far he's been the main story of 2021 with the Outlaws. He's won four in a row along with five total for the season, plus 10 top fives in 11 races. His sweep last weekend at Peavely along with two wins the weekend before made him the first driver since Donnie Schatz in 2017 to win four in a row with the series. He'll be looking to push that streak out even more this weekend. Behind Sweet, Sheldon has been on fire in recent weeks with seven straight top five finishes, including two wins. He's climbed to third in the standings behind Sweet and Schuhart. As for Logan, he's been rock solid through the first 11 races, picking up a win, eight top fives, and 11 top tens. The driver of the Shark Racing 1S has finished top 10 in 14 straight outlaw races back to Kokomo in 2020. David Gravel and Carson Macedo round out the top five, and both already have wins this season as well. One driver who will be looking to shake off a run of subpar finishes is Donnie Schatz. He's still seeking career win 300, and we thought he might get it last weekend at Peavely. He led the first 17 laps on Friday night, but suffered a mechanical failure and ended up with a DNF uh, and finished in 20th. He has three straight finishes outside the top 10 and four in 11 races this year. The tough run of races has seen him slide back to sixth in the standings. Besides the full slate of Outlaws, we should have really good car counts for the two nights. The All-Stars are off this weekend, and a number of their full-timers are expected to race, including Justin Peck, Tyler Courtney, Zeb Wise, Corey Eliason, Hunter Schoenberg, Bill Baylog, and Ian Madsen. A number of non-wing regulars should be in attendance as well with a wing on, including C.J. Leary driving Alex Bowman's 55, Clinton Boyles, Paul Nienheiser, and Robert Ballou. Looking at win predictions for the weekend, even with his run of recent success, Sweet isn't favored tonight at Kokomo. The DirtTracker.com analytics prediction formula actually likes Sheldon Hoddenshield over Sweet. As we said earlier, Sheldon won at Kokomo last season and is on his own good run right now. Uh, with as well as shots ran at Kokomo last season, he could also be one to watch tonight. His winless streak is up to 18 races, and he's definitely going to be hungry. As for tomorrow at Hobstadt, Brad Sweet is a big-time favorite over Sheldon and Carson Macedo, with Sweet's win chances more than double his closest competitor. He's got four finishes of sixth or better in recent seasons there and has been very good on quarter-mile racetracks, with an average finish lately of 3.8 and three wins. If we're going to see an outsider win, though, Hobsot seems to be a good place for it. Two of the past four wins have come from outsiders, including Christopher Bell in 2019 and Carson Short last season. If you can't be at Kokomo tonight or Hobsot tomorrow, you can watch live on Dirt Vision. After two months off following Florida, the USAC National Midgets are back this weekend officially for two nights at Port City Raceway in Oklahoma. The Brady and Ziziana Bacon promoted T-Town Midget Showdown takes place tonight and tomorrow at the track recently purchased by Shane Stewart and Kevin Rudine. A bunch of money is on the line with Saturday's winner taking home over $7,000. Tyler Courtney and Justin Grant split the wins at Port City in 2020, but only Grant is in the field this weekend. As of Tuesday, there were 42 cars on the pre-entry list, and the field is stacked for the two-night show. Buddy Kofoid and 2020 champion Chris Windham are tied, uh, tied atop the standings with the two Florida Knights complete. Kofoid is the hottest driver with the series, with an average finish of 3.8 over his previous five starts. He's also won three of his last six USAC Midget races back to Arizona Speedway in November of 2020. Kofoid also recently became the first driver to ever win the first four Power Eye Midget races to start a season, with wins at Monarch Motor Speedway and I-44 Riverside Speedway. Tanner Thorson, Thomas Meserol, and Dazen Persley round out the top five in the standings. 
Thorson will be in his new Reinbold Underwood ride after recently switching over to that team from Dave Mack Motorsports. One driver we won't see at Port City this weekend is Kaylee Bryson. She's normally a part of the Keith Coons Motorsports team and is coming off a win last weekend in her pavement late model debut. The racing should be wide open all weekend, and I think there are probably easily six or eight guys who could win either night, including Kofoid, Wyndham, Thorson, Timez, Cannon Mag, Justin Grant, or even a guy like Dazen Persley. Logan Seavey and Kevin Thomas Jr. are also in the field as well. If you can't be at Port City, Flow Racing has you covered with the live stream. There's plenty of other open wheel racing happening this weekend as well. The ASCS National Tour is in action on Saturday at Boot Hill Speedway in Louisiana. J.J. Hickel swept the opening weekend a few weeks ago at Devil's Bowl and will be looking to continue his hot streak. Matt Covington and Scott Boguski also picked up top five finishes both nights that weekend. That race can be watched live on Flow Racing and Racing Boys. More weekly tracks continue to be in action as well with Attica, Port Royal, Williams Grove, Lincoln, Colorado Speedway, St. Francois in Missouri, and BAPS all running 410s this weekend. There's also non-wing action at Bloomington, Kokomo with the Outlaws, Lawrenceburg, Lincoln Park, and more. To see the full weekend open wheel schedule, check out the calendar at tjslideways.com. Uh, make sure to stay up too on social media and the track websites as we've seen already this morning some uh, weather-related cancellations for this weekend, so make sure you know that your track's going to be in action if you head out this weekend. We had an interesting ride announcement yesterday with Kevin and Jordan Swindell announcing that Darren Pittman will pilot the Swindell Speed Lab number 39 sprint car for their limited schedule this season. Pittman had hoped to step away from full-time competition this year after departing the World of Outlaws, but the business opportunity he was hoping for never materialized. So we knew he was working on putting together some rides for the season. He's run in California a bit so far, including in 360 sprint car action. I know he also has some races planned with Jason Myers out there. As for the Speed Lab ride, they've had several drivers in recent years drive that car, including Christopher Bell, Spencer Baston, and Sammy Swindell. They even picked up an all-star win at Lincoln last season with Baston driving. They have good stuff that is capable of winning, and I've got to think that Pittman's talent and experience will only elevate that program. According to a post from Speed Sport, the team plans on debuting at Eldora on May 7th with the rest of their schedule still TBD. There are 18 shows on the streaming schedule for today. Dirt Vision has four of them. The late models at Bristol, Sprint Cars at Kokomo, and Weekly Racing from Attica and Williams Grove. Flow Racing has the USAC Midgets from Port City, Weekly Action from Ocean Speedway, the King of the High Banks from Marshalltown, and Street Stocks from Beachlands in New Zealand. There's also that ASCS uh, show on, actually no, that's tomorrow, ASCS non-wing action on Racing Boys. There's Weekly Racing from Humboldt on Racing Dirt, um, and a bunch more on the Cushion and Speed Sport. To see the full daily streaming schedule with links to watch, visit dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. Stay tuned there through the weekend as well, as there are nearly 60 shows on the docket for the next couple of days. That's it for the show today. Hope everybody has a good Friday and a good weekend. If you have thoughts about the topics on today's show, leave them in the comments below or tweet at me. You can find Dirt Tracker Daily where you get podcasts plus YouTube and Facebook. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and leave a review. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com. I do check those every single day. You can follow Dirt Tracker on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Dirt Tracker. And you can check out the website for all kinds of cool dirt racing stuff by visiting dirttracker.com. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you on Monday for more Dirt Tracker Daily.